<sighs> well, good morning. Time to start day three. So, it's close to 5 a.m. And here we go. Sun's just starting to lick the tops of some of the local peaks. And we're gonna try and make it uh, at least to Double Lake and hopefully down to uh, Dinwoody Creek. Depends on how much snow there is, I guess. So that is the morning vista. From Tree Oasis. There's camp. And there's a the bear bag. Let's go fetch it. So just like we have evening duties, we have morning duties. And this morning, it's to get my bear bag down from that tree. So let's go give it a shot. Just like that, it's down. Pretty chilly, but no snow on the ground. And it is about 7.22. Everybody's breaking camp and getting ready to left foot, right foot. Hike their own hike. All right, so it is 8.01 a.m. Day three, which I believe is Monday the 21st so I think WWDC is on a Tuesday I know it's on the 22nd anyway <laughs> now that you know how my calendar works um yet we are leaving our nice little camp spot and getting back on the trail today we're leaving our camp and we are spread out just a little bit, which is fine, different speeds. And we're going to meet up at the top of Arrow, I believe it's Arrowhead Pass. If it's not, it's Arrow Pass, but you know, I forget. And yeah, it should be a nice sunny day. Forecast is reasonable. 10% chance of rain and already to my first water crossing.
right, so here we are at Arrow Pass. The crew is coming up this direction. It's almost a quarter of 10, so almost 9.45 a.m. on June 22nd, Monday. And that's where we're headed, which is toward Dinwiddie Basin. Uh, and then we'll kind of hang a right and go up uh, toward Dinwiddie Glacier and Gooseneck Pinnacle and Gooseneck Glacier. But everything, all the water that falls over here ends up down in that basin. And all the water that ends up over here, the rain water, ends up down in the Torrey Creek drainage. You know, Ring Lake, Torrey Lake, Lake Julia, that kind of thing. So we're gonna pull off the trail about 50 or 60 feet. So if uh, horses come by, we don't have to get up and move and we're gonna lay our packs down and take a little siesta waiting on the crew. So that was a nice little slow but steady hike this morning. And uh, we're gonna get to dropping packs. How's it going? Sure did. Arrow Pass 2020. Gonna need a t shirt. Yeah. Not counting the elevation gain, right? So you have to, right, you have to add the elevation to that, John, to get real mileage. It is good to be here. Time for a siesta. So it's 11.55, we are just now wrapping up Arrow Pass. Big country out here. And then you can hopefully see in the foreground a bunch of dead trees. We always call this place Dead Tree Forest. It's just a lot of dead trees and all in one spot. And I think pretty soon we'll be up on Phillips Lake. See the marmot over there, Garrett? See the marmot on that rock? Green for us. No, camera shy. There's no trip so far. Well, that we've been close to. Touched. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And you can see the red tinge from some of the algae that grows just in the snow. And it's going to be wet there. Hopefully we don't have too much snow to go through. So here you go. What? Yeah. Big rock. Big broken rock. Inside the dead forest now. Some water running. We had to cross the bridge. I think it was fire. Um, probably a quick brush fire, but enough to burn all the bark on the trees. 
so not enough to take trees down, but enough to char all the parts. So it's been like this since I've been here. You know, Ten years ago. At least. Yeah. on um, a lake. I believe this is Phillips. We'll find out and as you can tell we've definitely come out of dead forest. Plenty of living trees all around us. How's the how was the hike since the dead tree forest? <laughs> yeah lots of rocks and it's a little bit wet but of course it makes sense we're getting closer to the water. So onward we go. What's up? This place looks cozy. Oh yeah, I'm ready to fish. I've had some good luck here over in the inlet stream, actually. So that's where I'll be going. See a little cheesing action going on over there. All right, so we're here at Lower Phillips Lake and people are getting ready to fish. There's Frosty Greg. And there, Johnny Freedom and Ben. Over there somewhere, I don't know if you can see him. Anyway, the rest of the crew's over there. And then here's the lake. <laughs> There's Sir Worthington. the waterfall coming into Lower Phillips. Nice, first cast. Nice. One of many. Garrett, this marmot's chewing on your bag. Yep, there he goes. Well, I mean, he's a foot away from your bag now. He's right here at this tree behind your bag. Now he's back six inches. There you go.
Have you? Yeah. Are they any good? Uh Hit. You have to remember for next time. Yep, that is the one thing I wish I had. And barbless hooks. He grabbed the line. Hey! Yeah, there he is. Sick release. That makes five for you? Yeah. Yep. But this is not what's in that river, so there's some big cutthroats in the river. That was an interesting chick boat. You see that? That's a long problem. Yeah, it's pretty silver. So we're here at Double Lake and we've got our tent set up and it's still drying from this morning because we packed it before it was completely dry. And we've got people in various stages of cleaning gear and fishing and that kind of thing. Got your granola. They did. One of your recipes didn't have vegetables, had for vegetables. It might have been the, the fajita one. Yeah, it could be. We're going to take a look at the new Thermarest uh, air pump. There you go. And the thing about it is, is that it fits the new valve on the new Thermarest Uberlite, but not the 2019 version. And I have two 2019 version Thermarest Uberlites. 
So what are we gonna do about that? Well, we've made this little widget that is gonna solve that problem. All right, so all it is, is a three quarter inch female fitting and a garden hose washer and a three quarter inch garden hose thread male to male coupler and that just goes together So if you're inflating it, you go to the inflate side of the pump, you take this, push it a little bit, give it a little turn, and then it's in there. And then you loosen this, put it in there, and turn it on. So we're kind of winding up the day fixing to get ready to do some dinner and uh, get some rest and then I think uh, tomorrow there'll probably be some day hiking up to Star Lake and uh, fishing and fishing here at Double Lake and uh, lots of photography too so stay tuned and remember when you can get up get out live a little See ya. Hey, Mook. <laughs> well, at least we know he's not dead.